Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second and background color is black color and simply hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and we will hit on title selection. Now I'll select my text tool and type one text, I'll type light over here like this. Select this text, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Unlink this layer and I'll increase the size on this axis like this. Ok and again link this. Now I'll select this text and I'll hit Ctrl D. Press Y on my keyboard uh, and by holding Ctrl I'll snap this anchor point at the edge. Press V again to select your selection tool and by holding Ctrl I'll snap it over here. Again select this layer, hit Ctrl D, press Y and move this anchor point at upward like this, press V and I'm gonna move this by holding Ctrl like this. Ok, now select all the layers and convert that layers into 3D. I'll select this layer, I'll press R for rotation and we will rotate it on minus 90 degree like this. Select this layer, press R and let's rotate it on X axis plus 90 like this. Then go to the active camera view and we will choose left view like that. Now I'll select this layer which is the third one. I'll hit Ctrl D and I'll move this layer over here. Okay. Like this. Make sure it should be like this or you can select this and with the help of arrow keys you can move it like that. Okay. And this is gonna be my main layer. So let's now select all of them and we'll make it apparent with this one which is this layer and we will bring this somewhere around over here like this now as you guys can see uh, this icon is properly at the center make sure to bring this icon properly at the center now right click new and we will create one null object select this null object hit enter and let's call it as rotation and we will hit ok and let's convert this layer into 3d and we will select this fifth layer and let's make it apparent with this rotation or instead of that select all of them and we will make it apparent with this rotation so this null object is going to control the rotation property of this entire cube so let's go to the active camera view now like that and we will hit u let's make this fit okay so we'll get something like this now select this rotation press s for scaling option and we will scale the size a little bit press R for rotation and we will rotate it like this ok uh, let's make this Y rotation plus 30 and Z rotation we will rotate it let's minus 5 and on X axis as you guys can see we can rotate it like this but in this case we are not gonna do all of that stuff over here we have to rotate it on X direction like this ok so now what I'm gonna do I'll simply right click and I'll create a new and I'll create one null object I'll select this null object and I'll convert this null object into 3D. I'll select this rotation null object and I'll make it apparent with this null object. Now I'll select this null object and I'll press R. And now I'm gonna go and rotate this null object on minus 30 on Y axis like that. And my uh, let's say 5 on this axis like this. And now we will select, let's make this minus 5. Now I'll select this rotation. I'll press R and now if I rotate it on X axis, I'll get proper rotation. Okay, so let's make this zero like this. Alt click on this rotation property. I'm going to type time into let's make it 50. Okay, so we will get continuous rotation over here. Let's make this 80. So we will get a little bit of fast rotation like this. Now after that right click new and we will create one light over here. And I'm going to choose point light and intensity. I'm going to choose 150 and we will simply hit OK. 
and we will move this light over here and over here like this so if you hit play we will get something like this okay and let's double click and make this light intensity 100 like this so we will get something like this and if you want then you can adjust the mm, what we called intensity according to your needs like this okay now press ctrl y to create one solid background i am going to choose somewhere around this color hit ok and we'll bring this total over here like this or uh, instead of that if you to follow this procedure as you guys can see we will get some darkness over here so we don't want that so what i'm gonna do i'll simply delete this and i'll press ctrl y to create solid background layer and this time i'm going to choose black color and hit ok and i'll bring this layer over here now after that what i'm gonna do i'll simply right click new and i'll create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to apply tint effect on it and if i apply tint effect on it if i swap these colors obviously i'll get opposite results and instead of black color now i'm going to choose this color like this so we will get something like this now uh, this animation is proper uh, but there is one mistake over here uh, let's go to the top view over here and let's see where is our light source i'm gonna move this set exit over here let's make this let's see yeah we'll get something like this again press p for position and let's try to adjust the set position of this one let's say somewhere around over here or you can move this a little bit backward also like this okay i think this looks good to me and now what we will need to do simply right click new and add your camera and angle of view i'm going to choose 40 and simply hit ok and hit double a to open the settings and depth of field i'm going to enable it and aperture value i'm going to choose 200 and like this and blur value also 200 like this and now we have to focus our camera on this first step so let's go to the top top view and we will move this focus distance somewhere around over here like this let's go to the active camera view again and with the help of that we can try to adjust this like this so if i hit play i'll get something like this if you want blurriness to be increased you can increase the aperture value so you will get something like this okay like this and let's go to the point uh, point light hit double a and let's make this intensity let's say 80 or something like this or let's try to increase it a little bit yeah so we'll get something like this okay now let's select all of these layers except this adjustment layer I'm going to select all of these things. I'll press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as light. Then I'll hit OK. I'll hit Ctrl D. I'll press S. Unlink this and I'll make this minus 100. Press P for position and we will bring this totally downwards like this. Let's bring this over here. A little bit downward. Like this. Press T for opacity and let's make this opacity 40. Okay, so this is how you can create simple typographic animation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then stay tuned.